welcome to all of you today to discuss on sir epidemic model on biomathematics this sir model uh few question paper 2020 from the flow chart of sir model without vertical transmission this bk to s and bsi to i gamma i to r and this mu s mu i mu r construct the sir model and explain so that if bk is less than mu plus gamma there is only one equilibrium which is locally asymptotically stable also prove that if bk is greater than mu plus gamma there is another equilibrium which is also locally asymptotically stable the given flow chart describes the karmic mckendrick sir epidemic model with demography without vertical transmission for long lasting dgs tv hiv hepatitis c etc we should consider demography birth and death of individuals so this is bk is birth and mu s is death from s mu i is death from i mu r is death from r so infection does not spread from mother to its offspring the equations can be represented as dsdt equal to bk minus bsi minus mu s this is bk input to s susceptible and this output is bsi and mu s so this negative value and this negative value mu s and didt equal to bsi minus gamma i minus mu i so for didt is bsi plus mu i minus mu gamma i minus and for didt this gamma i plus and mu r minus where beta is the dg transmission coefficient this beta is dg transmission coefficient from susceptible to infected individuals and gamma is the recover rate from in infected to recover infected to recover and sir the functions of time t uh, be respectively densities of the susceptible infected recover individuals at time t so the total population at any time t is given by capital k equal to s plus i plus r assume s i r classes give birth to only susceptible individuals at the, at the rate b so this is the b k b k is the birth to susceptible this and of all classes individuals of all classes die at a rate mu so from s die rate is mu s from i to mu i die rate is this r is mu r and all parameters b beta gamma and mu are positive adding 1.1 1.2 1.3 get dsdt didt plus drdt equal to bk minus mu s plus i plus r 
So DDT of S plus I plus R equal to B minus mu into K because S plus I plus R equal to K total number of population. So this D K D T equals to zero if B equal to mu. If birth rate equal to death rate uh, then this decay dt is 0, so obviously k is constant for any t. Here we assume for simplicity that birth rate and death rate are equal. If for at any at time t is equal to 0, initial values of initial values of s i and r are s0, y0, r0, same. Then s0 plus i0 plus r0 equal to c constant c. Then k equal to s plus i plus r equal to s0 plus i0 plus r0. Since total population is constant, we can reduce one, independ one dependent variable r and r equal to k minus s minus t. Then system 1 reduces to ds to t equal to bk minus beta si minus bs here mu equal to b and dr dt equal to beta si minus gamma i minus beta bi so from this uh, we put here uh, dr dt uh, r equal to this k minus s minus i so uh, replace by i uh, s minus this r r this so bk bs i and first equation is this bs mu equal to b and bsi minus gamma i minus bi so this equal to taking common i bs equal to gamma plus b now we study zero algebra for si model here the equation is s dash this means ds dt this b n we use here n uh, actually problem is a b k minus beta s i minus mu s we put here mu for n and d i d t equal to beta s i minus gamma i minus mu i and this from this model given model b k minus beta s i minus mu s beta s i minus gamma i minus mu i and dr dt equal to gamma i minus mu r gamma i minus mu r so if we uh, run this beta is the trans uh, transmission rate from um, uh, susceptible to infected so if we uh, put beta equal to 1.83 and gamma equal to 0 0.7 is the recovery rate and b is the b is the birth rate birth rate uh, from this bk b for this this b is bk input this b and this uh, b is the uh, susceptible into a birth to only susceptible individuals at a b next this m is the uh, death rate uh, for from each individuals m is new form m and t is the time for say 20 years or this 20 so if uh, this uh, put this value if b equal to move this and m equal to this then uh, this graph is this We change this m is the death rate and if we change the beta is the transmission rate from susceptible to this then this curve blue curve is the susceptible so initially when t is equal to 0 
susceptible is one and this uh, r r r is the uh, recover uh, for green card and red is the infected so this is the red card so initially t equal to 0 uh, this i equal to 0 and r equal to 0 and here s equal to 1 I choose here s equal to 1 then this model and this uh, beta is this this gamma is the trans beta is the transmission rate if we uh, change this parameter transmission rate then the graph is this type and if we change gamma from the recover rate from uh, infected to recover if we change this then and the change this and if we b is the birth rate if we change this b then this type uh, change this and if m is the death rate if we change death rate then uh, graph is this type and then uh, now the system reduces to two dimensional system uh, for s and i now i increases with uh, time time if di dt is greater than zero that is uh, beta s minus gamma plus b is greater than zero so beta is greater than gamma plus b at the beginning of the epidemic when i equal to zero approximately equal to zero then obviously r equal to zero and this the total population k obviously equal to the s susceptible thus beta k greater than gamma plus b or beta k this beta k is gamma plus b uh, because uh, this s equals to k approximately equal to k then or beta k by gamma plus b greater than 1 and we call it this beta k by gamma plus b equal to r0 say this r0 is called the basic reproduction of the disease now we want to find the equilibria for this system for equilibria dsdt equal to 0 didt equal to 0 then dsdt equal to means this bk minus beta s i minus b s and didt equal to i into beta s minus gamma bracket plus b so this equal to 0 this equal to 0 from the second equation obviously i equal to 0 either or beta s minus gamma minus b equal to 0 if i equal to 0 from the first first equation of these three from this b k minus beta s i minus b s equal to 0 obviously we put i equal to 0 then s equal to k then uh, we get so this uh, e0 is the disease free equilibrium this k s for susceptible is k and this i for infected i equal to 0 so infected d0 so it is called disease free equilibrium if i not equal to 0 then beta s minus gamma minus b equal to 0 then s equals to gamma plus b by beta in the from the first equation of 3 s into bracket beta i plus b equal to bk then after simplification we get i equal to this b bracket beta k minus gamma plus b divided by gamma plus b into beta now i is positive whenever uh, this beta k minus gamma plus b is positive so beta k by gamma plus b greater than 1 that is r0 greater than 1 where r0 is the basic, basic reproduction number hence the existence of the endemic equilibrium this e star is called a star comma i star where a star is this a star is gamma plus b by beta and i study is this b bracket beta k minus bracket gamma plus b whole divided by bracket gamma plus b into beta obviously this uh, ester exists visible when uh, beta k minus bracket gamma plus b greater than 0 that is r0 greater than 1 this endemic equilibrium what is uh, mean for endemic equilibrium uh, endemic stage we have a small fluctuation 
in monthly case of infection and only slow increase or decrease over the course of years. This is called endemic. For stability test, let f equal to this, g equal to this. This for ds by ds by dt and d di by dt and del f del s del f del i del g del s del g del i. The Jacobian of j equal to del f del s del f del i del g del s del g del i. We get this matrix 2 by 2 matrix and for e0 find j of e0 this is equal to g of k comma 0. So this is the upper triangular matrix. Obviously, the eigenvalues minus b and beta k minus gamma minus b. There's two eigenvalues, and this beta k gamma minus b. And if we put uh, the value of r0, then this is gamma plus b into r0 minus 1. So e0 is locally asymptotically stable if uh, this quantity, this quantity r0, this j2, this second eigenvalue is negative. If negative when R0 minus 1 is less than 0, that is R0 is less than 1. And unstable if R0 is greater than 1. Uh, obviously, when E0 is locally asymptotically stable equilibrium, then uh, Easter does not exist. Uh, because R0 is less than 1. For existence of Easter, R0 obviously greater than 1. When E0 is unstable, that is R0 greater than 1, then uh, Easter appears. Now for E star, uh, we J E star, J E star comma E star, we put these values and using the values E star equal to gamma plus B by beta. So this and the trace of this matrix, this plus this principal diagonal element, sum of the principal diagonal elements is obviously negative and the determinant value, this into this minus this into this obviously beta square E star I star, obviously positive. And this is the characteristic equation this uh, lambda square minus trace of j into lambda plus determinant of this equal to 0 by out hard each criteria. This minus of trace greater than 0 and determinant j greater than 0 for necessary and sufficient condition for the uh, real uh, part of this eigenvalue is negative. Thus, both eigenvalues of this uh, matrix j is term uh, will have the a negative real part of this eigenvalue, eigenvalue is negative real part of this eigenvalue, and hence the endemic equilibrium star will be locally asymptotically stable whenever it exists, that is if R0 greater than 1. This is the model. Uh, thank you for watching this video.